today I'm sharing my top five favorite stress-free wedding guest hairstyles, plus some bonus tips to make your special occasion prep more relaxing. Hello, this is April with The Curl Story, which is all about celebrating your curls, especially with these easy curly hairstyles. And I've put together my favorite looks for wedding guest hairstyles that are elegant, romantic, and look great from all sides because of course you're going to be photographed when you least expect it. This first look is the absolute simplest where all I did was pin my bangs back not all the way to the middle in the back of my head, but just almost to the middle. Then I create this beautiful cascading effect of curls and it's a very soft look and it's just very elegant. It has this face framing, yet you don't have any bangs in front of your face. The second way to do it is an actual half up hairstyle with a barrette. So if you're not a fan of bobby pins, a barrette is a super simple option and I'll link all the details of these hair accessories below. And the trick with a barrette is to find the placement that works for your head shape, for your hair. Um, I have layers in my hair. So the barrette at my eye line level really highlights the volume and the shape of my curls. So you can play with it whether your barrette works for your hair a little bit higher right at the crown of your head. The crown is right where the top of your head meets the back of your head, just that tiny little turn back position. So the barrette could go either there or it could go slightly lower than your eye line. So you can test out the different looks and see which one can be your signature hairstyle. And here I love having a lot of volume around my face. So I am fluffing up the roots on the top first before I clip in the barrette. And I do clip a little bit of the hair underneath in order to secure the barrette a little bit more to make sure it doesn't sag or doesn't move or drop on one side. And you can leave some bangs out or since my bangs are too short to actually go into the barrette, I could bobby pin those back, but it does have a really pretty romantic look. And having this high barrette also allows me to cover the tops of my ears, which for me, I feel it just frames my face better. But if you're looking for a full updo, if you want to show off that neckline or show off some statement earrings, and then this low side bun would be really beautiful. So I start by just twisting one side over towards the other side. So it's going to be um, a flat twist that rolls into this donut shaped bun and I am using a hair tie a very thin hair tie first to secure that bun in place and then I'm just going to put in about three to five bobby pins depending on I need a lot because I have layers and so those little end pieces just stick out everywhere <laughs> but you may need less and I just space those out all around the bun. And it really doesn't matter too much where you pin them in. And you don't even need to open the bobby pin. They actually work better when you don't open them. They already have, you know, that tiny little fork at the end, and that just allows just enough hair to secure it in place at its best holding strength. When we get to the front, it's more about just figuring out the details. I like to pull some curls down on the side of my face or in front of the ears to just soften that look. You can even pull that bun a little bit larger, a little bit looser to give it a little more volume on the side of your face there. And the next hairstyle is a modification of this because it's still a side hairstyle. So it still can show off the neckline, still can show off those statement earrings, but you can show off more of your curls rather than wrapping them all up. So here when I'm doing the twist, I'm gonna bobby pin along the way to make sure that that twist doesn't unravel or loosen up throughout the day or when we're dancing at the wedding. So just pin a few bobby pins 
right in the twist to keep that hair in place and then I'm going to twist the other side as well but still all of this hair is going to be like a low side pony so I'm twisting both sides and then the ends are not going to be gathered together you can gather it together if you want to by just wrapping hair around but here i just left it loose so there's just two little twists on either side and it's all just twisted towards one side so it's a pretty little gathering of curls just to one shoulder and just showing off that elegant neckline but it's just a beautiful romantic style it just secures all that hair forward so it's better for longer medium length here. And the final two hairstyles use a hair comb. So this is a one side back look and then the next one will be a modification of this just in case this one doesn't work for you. So this look works best on medium to high density hair um, to really hold this hair comb in place. So if you have fine hair, the next hairstyle will likely be better for you. So to place this hair comb, I start it upside down and then fold it right side up into place. And that's how the hair is just tucked in and you have this beautiful glamorous look with just one hair comb. <laughs> so I'll definitely link the details of this hair comb in place. And I do have some secret bobby pins on the top of my hair to hold a couple of curls in place there. And it's perfect if you already like to wear your hair with the side part or your bangs to one side. So the next version of this, which is great for low density hair, is to actually twist one side of your hair towards the back of your head and then you can insert a hair comb into the twist. So I'll show you how this is done. Just go with the natural way that your hair likes to part, whatever side it likes to go to. And then on that opposite side, we are just going to start from the top and twist it all, take gather little bits of hair until we get a little bit further towards the back. So the twist is not going all the way back to the center of my head and it's also not staying close to my ear. It's kind of landing in between. So it curves a little bit towards the center of my head and that's how you can get this really elegant slanted twist and line in place that really allows the curls to cascade down and it gives you a beautiful nice tight twist in order to tuck in the hair comb at the end for the finishing look. To insert the hair comb I always start it upside down and then fold it into place right into this twist and it's right above the ear to really highlight the eye line and the crown of the head right above those cascading curls down below. So it really opens up the face. Again, it's opening up that neckline, showing off your statement earrings. Definitely give the roots a fluff so you have nice, beautiful volume at the top and you are ready to go. And now for the bonus styling tips. And the first is a stealthy night wash, which I love doing this because I get way too anxious with time constraints. To completely wash and dry and style my hair on the day of a special event or even just getting ready for work for that matter. So even though I now know how to style my hair, my hair is healthy, it doesn't freak out anymore, I still have years of hair frustration and stress from the past that I need to heal. So I love to do the night wash and then I protect my curls. So I wash, style, completely dry, leave my hair in its gel cast and then put on my sleep protection, whether that be a hair buff like this or a silk scarf and it's so peaceful and so relaxing to know that my hair is already done and ready to go. I absolutely love it. I do this stealthy night wash a couple times a week so my mornings are always peaceful and easygoing. 
The next tip is to spritz on hairspray as your last styling product right before you air dry or diffuse and your curls will stay intact for much, much longer. My final styling tip is to practice beforehand. So don't wait until the day of your special event to try out your hairstyle. I highly recommend trying it beforehand um, on a wash day so that you and your hair can get to know each other better and figure out what looks best on you and take some photos so you can see the style from all around. You can see where you need to make some modifications, what looks best with your face, with your cut of hair and you and your hair will be much happier for it. So I wish you a beautiful curl day. I thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to support more curly content like this. Well, I'll see you next time.